Researchers have found ice under the surface of Mars. I'm Zach. This is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. And let's take a look at this. In a paper published in the journal Science, researchers from the U.S. Geological Survey's Astrogeology Science Center outlined their findings on eight different ice cliffs that show signs of ice right under the Martian soil. These eight scarps, as they're called, are basically a geological cross-section of the surface of Mars. They could be created by things like meteor impacts, as you see the blue in the top corner there, that's ice underneath the Martian surface, or in some other way that they're not quite sure of yet. But according to Colin Dundas, he is one of the authors of this paper, what they do know is there is a shallow ground ice under roughly a third of the Martian surface, which records the recent history of Mars. Researchers also believe that this ice was probably deposited long ago as snow, and then were later capped by dirt and dust, which that layer is only about a meter to two thick. Not only is this ice directly below the surface, but some of these deposits can be 140 yards thick. So basically what this does is provide our future Mars colonies with a vast supply of water, which as you can imagine can then be broken down into breathable air and hydrogen to make power. This also opens up new sites for us to place our future colonies. Until now, we did know there was water mixed in underneath the Martian surface, but we didn't know how it was deposited. Previous examination, it seemed like it was just sort of in with the dirt and dust, so it wasn't a very usable source. The only place that we knew for a fact that had usable quantities of water were near the poles, which would be a very harsh environment for us humans to set up camp in. But the photo of the ice that you see was taken in a region known as Prometheterra, which is much further away from the poles than researchers ever thought there could be solid ice. Another interesting thing about this ice and these scarps is that the exposed ice they figure is nearly instantly sublimating, going directly from a solid to a gas. And that's causing these scarps to grow wider all the time. And that seems to indicate to me if we want to keep this as a viable source of water, when our colonists get there, they're going to have to do something to cap those ends off. And if nothing else, this gives us a good target for a landing zone for our Mars 2020 rover and all of our future Mars missions. So tell me, what do you think now that we know there is usable water on Mars? Should we make a harder push to hit the red planet or should we stay at home and take care of our problems here and maybe focus on a moon base first so we can get the technology down before we send an astronaut so far away. Well, and with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you know when I upload something new. I generally put out new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.